It is Friday, June 11, 2010, and you are watching This Week in Linux News. Last Friday, Adobe announced that they had a critical security flaw in Adobe Flash and Adobe Reader versions 10.0 and 9.0 of Flash, and 9.32, all of the 9.x versions of Reader. This vulnerability could cause crashes and allow an attacker to take control of the affected systems. There are some workarounds for Adobe Reader and for Acrobat. For Flash, just update to 10.1's release candidate. It's pretty stable at this point. Okay, let's talk about some Ubuntu news. Ubuntu 10.10 is, of course, coming out in a few months, and it looks like they've decided to remove Aptitude from the default install. I've heard so many great things about Aptitude over the years, so I've tried it several times. I actually use it a lot of the times to search for packages, to get information about packages and stuff. If you're not familiar, Aptitude is actually a way to install new software from the terminal within Debian-based systems. And a lot of people consider it to be smarter than apt-get. Apparently it was taking up a little bit too much space on the CD, and apt-get has gained a lot of the functionality that it was missing, so they've removed it from the default install, though it will still be in their repositories. In other Ubuntu-specific news, Canonical has announced that they're working on a tablet-specific version of Ubuntu that should be available on tablets starting in late 2011. It's going to be a very lightweight version of the existing Ubuntu operating system with a touch-friendly user interface. Looking at the upcoming Netbook Remix, they're already sort of moving in that direction, but this will be another step in that direction. The good thing about this is they're working with OEMs to get Ubuntu on tablets. Of course, Ubuntu coming pre-installed on more OEM hardware means more press for Linux, more press for Ubuntu, and of course that is one step closer to Linux becoming mainstream. Now let's talk a little bit about Google's Chrome OS. A software engineer from Google has released an official statement saying that they've created a mystery process called Chromoding. Chromoting is supposed to be something like remote desktop, though it's just for applications. Basically, you'll have a very lightweight client on the Chrome OS PC and a heavier client that sits on your Windows, Mac, or Linux machine that will allow you to actually run the applications from that locally on your Chrome OS. The details are still pretty slim at this point, but hopefully it will address that issue I was talking about before with video and audio editing on Chrome OS. And the last bit of news that I've got for you today is not entirely Linux related. Jono Bacon, the community manager for Ubuntu, has announced the brand new Severed Fifth website entering phase two of his Severed Fifth project. If you're not familiar with this, I will put a link in the doobly-doo. Basically, he is a one-man metal band. Jono released an album called Denied by Rain on his website for free a few months ago under this Severed Fifth name. And in addition to having a new website, he is of course working on a second album at this point. But that's all I've got for you today. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. And of course, we can't forget the comment question of the day. I mentioned that Canonical is looking to sell some Ubuntu tablets. Who do you think the OEM is going to be? I'm putting my money on Dell, but leave your comments in the section below.